You can smell the live steam, you can hear the Caliou playing, you can smell that fresh popcorn, and you can taste it. And as it turns out, it was Corky Bickle that was making that very popcorn during the summer of 1960. This side we had popcorn and soft drinks and uh, we had hot dogs. At just 15, he was a cabin boy aboard the Belle of Louisville. Now, some 50 years later, he's returning for the very first time. It's very emotional to be back on the boat. Uh, it brings back wonderful memories. And on this day, 100 years of memories are celebrated. The bell is rechristened, and from the brass keys of the decades-old calliope, happy birthday is played. Fittingly, it's Captain Doc Hawley who is making the music like he did some 60 years ago. The keys haven't changed, admittedly, he's grown older, but the music, the bell, he's never forgotten. That gave me a big thrill, I get to play happy birthday for my first love. Hawley, who got his start in 1953 aboard the bell when she was still the Avalon, never married. The river, he'll tell you, was his bride. This boat went on nine different rivers in 17 states. And the bell was, and at 79, is still home. I had a lot of fun. If I had it all to do over again, it'd be the same thing. And on this day, when the bell is once again queen of the river, and hundreds line up to take a trip, the only thing Corky Bickle says that's different is the year. This is almost as good as the summer of 1960.